Right, here we go. How's it going, uh, everyone? This is Jose Trujillo once again, and today I'm going to be painting on a 11 inches by 14 inches high uh, canvas board. And uh, I like using this guy, it's you know, pretty thin, durable, and they're just they get the job done. So I'm going to be making a California uh, Impressionist type of landscape with eucalyptus trees. It's one of my, one of my, one of my favorite subjects actually. So, I like the, the movement they, they present. Plus, it gives me a good, uh, a good, um, what do you call it, reason <laughs> to use purple. And some blue in there too. Why not? And that's part of the beauty of painting uh, more loose, right? More abstract. The, there's some beautiful surprises that happen when you do that. Good brushes. I really enjoy the California landscapes. I like the many colors that it can bring, especially uh, the valleys. You know? The valleys are exceptionally beautiful to paint. We have a lot of that here also in, in Arizona. We're in, I mean, my studio is in Tucson, and we have a lot of um, a lot of. Uh, different colors in the sunrise and the sunset as well so I get to have fun with that here
And sometimes the sky, the, the sky will pick up a bit of the, um, well, not that it would pick up, right? But <laughs> more like I pick up some of that purple and and blue. It complements very nice, especially because we're using green here. So, so. Well, I'm using green. It sounds like <laughs> there's more than one here. I guess that's how you say it. No? Sometimes I get carried away and I won't touch the, uh, the ground until the end. Sometimes it's the other way around. Sometimes I'll start with the ground and, and won't touch the, the background or the sky. It's just, uh, I do a lot of, uh, you know, just what seems right at the moment, you know? I, I try to, to, um, Trust my instinct when I paint. Try to practice that. It's not always it's not always some rehearsed thing, you know, it's not it's not it's not always gonna be the same. And it's okay if it's not the same, you know. If it's okay if it's not a um, rehearsed or or there's a specific method to it. I'm personally never interested in, in um, just one way of doing it. I believe that that creates uh, comfort zones, you know. And I'm not interested in the comfort zone because it'll 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 keep you from. Uh, this this is my belief, of, of course, right? But I believe it it, it, it keeps me from. Um, from growing, from searching, from researching, from from uh, seeing what else is there, you know. It's okay to take a different path. It's okay to get lost too and say, "Well, I didn't like that. Let me go back to this." But if you won't do that, you won't stretch. You know, you won't. You'll have a. You'll have a rehearsed way of painting, and I think that that. It's uh, it's nice. I mean, you know, you probably nail every single painting to a certain look. They all look from the, you know, the people say, oh, this cohesiveness it looks from from the same artist. You know, but it also looks like the artist never grew. It all, it all looks like the artist stayed in one stage too. You know that that I, I often think about that. You know. Um, when people say, oh, this looks like the piece from this artist, you know, uh, I think that's nice, you know, you can't get away from style, from personal style, I think that that's, you just, no matter what you do, you're not going to get away from it, but I also think that that could happen uh, not to your benefit also, where, where if that's the way you paint and your um, your artwork is seen that way all the time. Um, not not from others, right? Because most people, I understand why they do it. 
or for at least why I did it, because you want to be, uh, or I wanted to be, <laughs> uh, treated professionally in the in the gallery uh, route or system. You know, I wanted to create a, a cohesive look and whatnot. But I, I didn't like that game anymore. Not the gallery thing. <laughs> I didn't like um, just uh, conforming. I was conforming. I don't know about others. But I was conforming to, yes, this is how I do it. You know, and always expect this because this is how I do it. And if I painted with a palette knife, you know, uh, I, I, I wasn't told directly, maybe indirectly, but, but I, I definitely was, was aware of it. You know, if I painted with something else, people would tell me, you know what, um, you're not going to be taken seriously if they see you changing you know, something <laughs> as simple as a tool, you know. You change the tool you work with, um, it might not be... A good choice. Certainly, a lot of artists think that, and maybe they have their reasons. I don't know. I, I never, I never care much for that. You know, I said in other videos, it's like telling a, a, I don't know, a pianist. You know, you can only use your left hand, or, or maybe that's a horrible example. <laughs> Maybe telling a carpenter, you can only use this hammer, you know, or this type of tool. You you can't use this to build a house. Uh, something like that. <laughs> Anyways, you guys understand what I'm trying to say. I hope. My name is Jose Trujillo, and this is a painting of eucalyptus trees. A very classic California theme. I always like doing. Oh, I'm gonna take advantage of the red. I have another brush here. All right, thank you so much, and I hope you uh, check out the new ones. Bye-bye.